Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 3 of my Dragon Spud 13 build. I've changed a few things, like adding a blue background, which will hopefully help with the autofocus, and I've been playing around with the editing software as well. Anyway, in the last episode I left you on a cliffhanger about the undercarriage. Did it work? Did it not? Well, here we go, and yes, get in there, it worked. In this episode, I'm going to be doing some masking, some sanding, painting, and also some PE work. I'll be masking the upper and lower wings in a bit, but first I'm going to finish off the propeller. I'm using Tamiya X26 Clear Orange to give the prop its final coat. There we go, the finished wood effect. I'm happy with that. If you want to know how I did it, then check out my previous videos. Now for some masking. This is where I've been playing with the speed. It's been sped up by 800%. Enjoy as I mask the top wing in super quick time. There you go, one masked upper wing in about a minute. Not too shabby. Now for the lower wing.
There you go, two wings masked in about three minutes. Well, with the aid of video editing. So what I'm gonna do now is just pushing all the tape into the cracks to hopefully avoid any seepage. I've filled the cockpit with a packing noodle and also cut a couple of small bits of foam to block all the holes off. Down to primer. I'm using a white primer as I'm going to be spraying those bits red, so it's better than doing it dark or black. I got this from my local motor factors, it's cheap and I get a discount as well due to my military service. Priming this has highlighted some areas that need attention, damn you seams. And then you have this beauty on the other side, bit of work needed here. So out comes Mr. Hobby Dissolve Putty to fill those pesky seams and holes. Once that was dried, it was time for a little bit of sanding. Now it's PE time. I've primed the braces in white primer. And these are the ones I'm going to be doing. This was such a pain to do initially, as the PE parts needed to be bent the wrong way. Or was I not concentrating? Anyway, both of these broke, so I ended up gluing them as two separate parts, as you will see. Hmm, which way does this go? Oh, that way. How small? Here I'm gluing them as two separate pieces. Look, I'm using my PE picker up at all. Okay, which way round do you go? Ah, that way. Mm -hmm. 
Now some more of the fancy speedy uppy thing. Here I'm writing a label to tell me which one is which for later. As you can see on the instructions I've labelled them 1 and 2. Now for some more masking. I'm masking up the blue area now. Oh, and some more speedy uppy thing. Next I put the covers on the nose. These needed a slight bend and a bit of a pain to get on but once I'd sussed it they were okay. So I also did the speedy uppy thing again. I like that, can you tell? There's the covers on and the masking for the blue done. Let's carry on with the ribs. I've finally got the hang of doing these by now, so let's try the speedy uppy thing again. They're both done now, so I'll put a label on that and put it away for later.
Now to bend these brackets here that you can see. I had to double check I was bending them the right way. I'm marking each one a different colour here, so I know which is which later on. I'm adding some very fine fishing line as the rigging. The wire that came with the kit is too thick, in my opinion, so I decided to use this instead. I'm doing this while the part is still on the sprue to make things easier. I'm adding it to the inner holes first and using super glue and accelerant to make sure it stays gripped. Not too shabby, just need to snip the tag ends off now. I then decided to cut the part out. I think I should have left it on the sprue. The next one I do, I think I'll leave it on there. Next I pre-threaded them as I wasn't sure how I was going to get them taut and glue them down. I was looking around my shed for something to use to hold it steady and I saw my third hand, my movable desk vice. Nice plan Stan. So quick change of camera angle and away we go. Now to unveil the upper surface of the top wing using that speedy uppy thing. Let's see how this turned out. Pretty gutted about this as the paint went on too thick. I used a rattle can as I thought it might be quicker and there's also some seepage. Oh well, you live and learn. At the start of the next episode I'll show you how to remove this and I'll start all over again. Here's the prop now the paint's dried. So let's remove the masking tape see what it looks like.
Well, I'm chuffed with that. Just a centre spinner to paint up, tad of weathering, and the prop is done. Right folks, that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible. Like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modelling.